I wanted the poop to fall right down onto the pasture and feed the ground and then just leave it there and drive on moving forward. And instead of scooping poop, I can move fence, which I like to do. I'll be feeding the ground. I can work in the rotations with the animals uh, and everything is good and it might become a little bit more of a simple system. I know from watching the channel that you may think that I'm a hardworking person and I give off a good appearance of being a hardworking person, but I have aspirations of being lazy. I mean, farming is a hard enough job. Things are, things are difficult. You have to deal with nature and all the cliches. Uh, whatever. We're not here to talk about that. We're talking about making things a little bit easier, trying to be a little bit lazy, trying to, trying to aspire towards efficiency through, you know, some more simplistic design. So on my chicken coop, what I had noticed in the past is that I had reused this shed. So the shed was already existing. I didn't, it wasn't built to be a chicken coop. It was built to be a shed. Uh, I reused the shed and it had a solid floor. And in the past we would use pine shavings and bring in new pine shavings. The chickens would poo all in them. And then we'd have to scoop the pine shavings out and rotate them out. So the birds didn't get sick or didn't have any diseases or critters or bugs, whatever the case may be. It was a pooey atmosphere, wanted to, instead of shoveling poop, remember, lazy, I wanted the poop to fall right down onto the pasture and feed the ground and then just leave it there and drive on moving forward. And instead of scooping poop, I can move fence, which I like to do. I'll be feeding the ground. I can work in the rotations with the animals uh, and everything is good and it might become a little bit more of a simple system. Now, so that's the pros. That's a great thing about having the floor. Here's what I did and here's how it's kind of screwed up. So with the way the shed was initially constructed, it had a plywood floor on floor joy, so everything was screwed and glued down, uh, super solid, really rugged. I wanted poo to be able to go through it, so I drilled some holes and cut out sections of the floor so that the manure would fall through right onto the ground. The problem that I'm having is that I can't lock my birds in the coop. Now, you know, I just said free range and letting them out and access to grass. Why would I want to lock them in the coop? Well, if I need to count the birds or collect the birds uh, or move the birds is really the big one for me. If I'm moving them around the farm and I don't have a good successional move where I can move one fence to another, if I have to jump an area, I have no way to catch the birds except for to crate them up at night with a headlamp after they go to sleep, put them in crates, then put them in the coop, and then move the coop and then let them out of the crates. It's more stressful for the birds. It's more stressful for me. It's not great on my back. And um, yeah, not the best scenario. So what I'm finding is that while the manure dropping out is great and not having to deal with shavings is great, uh, my design is flawed in that it's tough for me to walk around like it's a little dangerous. I have really good balance, but if someone else was in here that didn't have as good balance, they could fall through and injure themselves, so that's no good. And then uh, I can't lock the birds up at night uh, if I needed to either keep them more safe from predators uh, or if I wanted to make one of those big moves. So having the big holes, yeah, it's working for now, but it's on my to-do list. It's not high on the priority list because it hasn't been a big thing, but it is on my to-do list to cover it with some extruded metal or some kind of chicken wire or slats or something. If you have any ideas for this, leave them in the comment section for below for this video. Shot this video just to share my experience so far, not saying that this is the way to go with your chicken coop. My chicken coop has always been influenced by the materials I have on hand, the time I have to work on it, the knowledge that I've gained throughout the years of experience and talking to other people. Uh, there's a lot of different mobile coop designs out there. You always have to choose the one that works for you. Uh, this is one of the areas where I could definitely improve. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Until next time, I will see you out in the field.